asks, Amal asks Meg to stop playing the victim and cut her deals with mental health charities. Meg and Markle previously opened up about her own personal mental health struggles, particularly referring to a short time as a senior royal. The Duchess of Sussex has been called out for playing the victim by charity founder and investigative journalist Marjorie Wallace. Speaking on Rachel Johnson's Difficult Women podcast, Miss Wallace opened up about what she thought of the 41-year-old making the decision to discuss that she developed suicidal thoughts whilst in the royal family. Speaking on the podcast, Miss Wallace said, I don't like victimhood and I've never played it myself. While discussing the Duchess of Sussex, she said, I don't think playing the victim card helps, whatever you're a victim of. I don't really respect people who take victimhood on as a career. She added, you've got to find ways of living with whatever disability or disadvantage you have. The veteran journalist, who is a close confidant of the Earl of Snowden for more than 40 years, said everyone, whether they're privileged or they're poor, has troubles in life. Marjorie Wallace is also known to be very close friends with Amar Clooney. The two always accompany and support each other in mental charity projects. The latest award that Amar Clooney received was also given by Wallace himself. The Elevate Prize Foundation has announced George and Amar Clooney as the recipients of the second annual Catalyst Award, which recognises prominent individuals who use their influence to inspire social action. Recipients are awarded $250,000 in unrestricted funding, as well as development resources and partnership opportunities to advance their mission and scale their work. Amal and George Clooney were selected for their efforts with the Clooney Foundation for Justice, CFJ, which they launched in 2016 to strengthen accountability for human rights abuses around the world. Recent CFJ initiatives are aimed at helping to free unjustly sponsoring and promoting women's rights. With this special relationship with Marjorie Wallace, the Cloonies are said to have severed their relationship with the Markles. Meghan tearfully opened up about having had suicidal thoughts as a member of the royal family during her and Prince Harry's interview with Oprah Winfrey in March 2021. Meghan told Oprah, I knew that if I didn't say it, that I would just do it. I just didn't want to be alive anymore. And that was a very clear and very real and frightening constant thought. Speaking about opening up to Harry, she said, I remember how he just cradled me. I said that I needed to go somewhere to get help. I said that I've never felt this way before and I need to go somewhere. And I was told that I couldn't, that it wouldn't be good for the institution. Meghan also revealed that after telling Harry about her struggles, she was forced to go to the Royal Albert Hall for a charity event in January 2019. I think Spare and the recent Netflix documentary will ultimately hurt Harry and Meghan's relationship with the Hollywood elite, she said. Did intensely private Beyonce give Meg permission to read a text message that she sent the Duchess verbatim to millions of Netflix subscribers? I highly doubt that. Kinsey pointed out that A-list celebrities such as Courtney Cox wouldn't enjoy being called out